I chose to come to Belmont because I wanted to go to a school that not only offered a great academic opportunity for me, but that also would let me pursue my dreams and aspirations as a golfer. It's a, it's a very, very good school for me academically. I love the, uh, the, business, uh, the business program here. And I really, I, I took a hard look at, um, at all the schools I was looking at at the golf program. And Belmont really stood out to me. I think we've got great facilities. We've got, you know, we're in a great location in Nashville. And I really like Coach Flynn. I thought that he would really help me. I, I like the guys that were on the team when I came in, and I thought it would be a good fit for me. My career goals, as far as it pertains to golf, I'd love to play golf at the highest level possible, whether that means um, you know, on the mini tour level or on the PJ tour level, that's I want to pursue that as long as I can and give that my all because that's that's kind of a dream of mine and that's my ultimate golf career goal. But I also love the fact that I have a great backup plan. I'm going to get a great degree here at Belmont in finance, and I really enjoy the um, financial uh, everything everything to do with finance really. And I'm I'm really excited if golf doesn't work out to be able to pursue a, a career in finance and because it's something that I enjoy to do. Well, all student athletes have a very demanding schedule. We're, we're pressed for time. We have a lot of responsibilities. And I manage that with uh, really two, two key factors. The first is I try to prioritize what's important to me. You know, sometimes I write things down and you know, for me, priorities, you know, especially during the season, are golf and school. And, I, you know, those, I, I, I know that those two come first. And I, I never put anything before those. And that, that really, you know, to remind yourself what your priorities are, really help you uh, stay on track with what you're trying to accomplish. And then the other is time management. We've got, there's only so many hours in a day. There's a lot of things you got to take care of. And you really got to have a plan for each day for, you know, what you're going to be doing and you know when you're going to do it and really stick to it so that you can uh, get everything done for the day. I really don't have any pre-competition rituals. I do really try to get in a good frame of mind before I play though. I think it's really important. You can't just flip the switch and be ready to go. You kind of have to give yourself time to get ready and get in that mindset that you, so that you can play your best. All right, my, I have, right now I have two favorite athletes. And when I'm looking at athletes that I really admire, I look at kind of their characteristics and their values and, and the things that they do more than, more than their talent. Because there's a lot of guys with talent, but the guys I look up to are, are the ones who set a good example, who are good leaders who do the right things. And the first one, the first of my favorite athletes is Peyton Manning. He's, he's a guy who I've heard so many stories of how hard he works, how disciplined he is, and he's always such a good leader out on the field. You know, that's, those are characteristics I strive to, to, um, to have in, you know, in my life. And then the other is, he's a golfer, Rory McIlroy. And I, I got to watch Rory a lot this summer, and he's, he's just, you know, he's, He's so disciplined, he's so, you know, focused, but he's also, he's a really good guy. He gives a lot back, and, you know, I've really, I really admire the, the path he's taken and the, and the accomplishments he's made. If I had to pick a superpower, it'd probably be to freeze time. I don't, a lot of times, I, I just wish I had a few more hours, and I would just, just so I could, you know, maybe relax and just kind of catch my breath or, you know, if a lot of times I, I feel like I don't have enough time to practice as much as I want. I really love practicing. I'd love to spend two or three more hours a day out there practicing or, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, I, I need more time with my schoolwork. So if I could just press pause every once in a while and t stop time, that would be a, pre be a pretty cool superpower.
right, my favorite quote is one my dad used to always tell me as a kid, and it was that if it was easy, everybody would do it. And that really stuck with me to this day because if, if it was easy to play on the PGA Tour or if it was easy to get really good grades or to you know, be successful, everybody would be. So you've got you've to be willing to do the hard things and to really you know, give it your best at everyth everything you do to be successful and to get what you want.